Welcome to our practice strokes today. We are doing simple strokes that make it possible for you to paint one stroke painting with me. We're gonna do slow steps. As we do these strokes, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do a shell stroke and make it into um, a full heart leaf using the strokes that you might have practiced already if you did your rose petals. And so it's a, a fan-shaped stroke, and we're going to use our three-quarter inch flat brush and our 16 flat brush sometimes if you want to get smaller. I just want you to know that these brushes come in my traditional one-stroke uh, dark green handle brushes. They, this is your ferrule. We, have, we want to keep the paint out of the ferrule here, and we want that keeps your uh, chisel really nice. So these are flat brushes, and this is my signature set, which um, they have smoother, nicer quality handles and better bristles. But the key is, is that either brush will teach you the technique that you need to. It's um, just when you get started, you can get my 10 piece brush set for a great price, all right? I wanna show you there's 10 brushes. Lots of flats, because I use a lot of flats. All right, different size flats. All right, and those sets are on onestroke.com, just to let you know, because that's the most asked question. Ma'am, what are your brushes? All right, I just noticed I had a little bit of green left in there. All right, so we use floating medium. It also comes in, the new label is gray and white with black writing. This is floating medium, the same thing that comes in the new bottles. All right, so we're using multi-surface. So it's folk art multi-surface when you're looking for that. And um, so it's glass, metal, ceramic. It does all those surfaces. I'm in my double loader and I put my medium in the middle and I pound it a little bit so that it would spread out, but I pounded it a little too hard on that side, but that's okay, I can move it over. So now I'm just gonna use, you asked what paper I use. I'm just using um, like a cardstock, all right? Just for us to practice. You can practice on scrapbooking paper or cardstock. I'm gonna wet my brush first and I dry it off. And then I'm gonna come in between, I'm gonna split this brush and I'm going back and forth. And I, I'm just picking up paint. So see how much paint? Then I go to an empty compartment I got a little bit of paint there. I go to empty compartment, all right? And I'm gonna push, let me move so you can see it really good. I'm gonna go back and forth, back, back and forth with lots of pressure, back and forth. All right, and quick and hard, pushing hard, all right? So what that does is it fills inside of the bristles with paint. Then these bristles stay together when I'm stroking. Now I need to get the outside of this brush looking good so I can pick up more paint. And then I'm just going very lightly back and forth without pressure. Cause now I want the paint on the outside of the bristles. Now I'm gonna keep repeating this as we do our practice strokes. Um, and you've got homework. I want you to do stroke work and put it on onestroke.com or put it on my messenger and ask me questions. I'm gonna be there for you, okay? simple strokes all right now let's go down a little bit more and there's some little steps that helps you all right so i used to just do a v all right but then some people would get their v's like this so this is too wide and i'll show you in a minute why all right so this is what i want to do i want to do one two three scrub and pull until I see a seashell and then I'm going to stand up all right now I've got a dry tip there but you saw I have lots of paint so I put the medium in the middle so it doesn't run into everything this also has a lid and a lid over this that we use okay so you just dip in like I might just need it on the light green so I just go one, two, and I'm ready. Or I might need it on the whole brush, and then I can go back and forth, then I'm ready, okay? So I'm gonna go back here and go one, two, 
three, start scrubbing and pull, 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 turn, 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 stand up and slide to the tip. Now I switched, I took the green from here and just moved the green right over. And when you do that, it gives you a shading like you shadowed um, the, leaf, the part of the leaf. Okay, so if I'm here, I just want you to show, I want to show you this. See that open V is too wide? If I'm here, then I only have to right here and before I have to turn and stand up. See, I need more, more medium. So I'm going to have to come here and stand up. So the difference is if my V is where it needs to be, I can see the whole shell before I stand up. All right. So right here is where we do to complete that whole. Right here, it should have been the there and there. And it makes a difference in what it looks like when you're stroking your leaf. Okay. So that's why we do the little strokes to help you get ready. All right, I'm going to keep putting this right here so you can see it. I'm going to get a little bit of medium. Only, please, please, only go to medium every second, third, fourth stroke. Okay, don't do it every stroke. All right, so let's go over this again. All right, so what we're going to do, we also can do Chris cross. And I came up with this when I was teaching in Holland because they have lots of railroad tracks. All right, so when we did this, this is how this is going to help you. I need to pull over a little bit more. Okay. Now, what I'm going to show you is that we have a magnet in the middle. Okay. So what happens, see, I can just pick up paint out of this area there. What happens is I'm going to keep the dark green where the magnet is. So if I go one, two, three, and every time I slide out, it sucks it back. Out, back, out, back. So I say out, back, steakhouse. And there's my shell. All right. So when I say a shell, I want you to see what I mean. All right. So if I come there and if I went like this and like this, you would see a seashell, a scallop seashell. You could also call it a fan. If I go like this, you can call it a fan or a shell. So those are, that's the terminology I use, okay? So I'm going to come here and pick up some more green and work it in. I got both colors and a little bit of medium, okay? So let's go back and finish this one even closer, okay? So if I'm here, I went one, two, three scrub and pull okay now after i see my shell or my fan then i can slide down the stem all right so if i'm here and i scrub then i stop and then i stand up and don't just stop here Stand up and then slide to a point. All right, so I came down a little bit too far there. Then I bring my chisel into my leaf, only two thirds in, don't go all the way to the tip. Okay, so let me share with you if I wanna add another color. So I've got these two colors, I can dip the white and lighten the stroke, okay? Now what I want you to see is I can go one, two, three, and I want you, let's turn this around. I want you to feel this movement, okay? This is your three quarter flat brush. One, two, three. I want you to put your little finger here and I want you to scrub. All right, one, two, three, scrub. Just like this. So not, I don't, we're not doing this, we're doing this. So I'm scrubbing before I pull. And then my little finger is pulling me wherever I want to go. So you have to be thinking. Your little finger pulls you around. 
So, so let me show you. If I'm right here and I want to go to there, one, two, three, my little finger, I just scrub and I'm holding this tight and I'm scrubbing and then my little finger drags me around. So I want you to practice, practice holding and practice pulling. So like I push and my little finger pulls me down and you can sell, you know, this is a slick finish. So it, what it does is it's, um, it dries up and makes the painting stick to it. So next thing I want to share with you, I'm going to go here and get some yellow. Okay. Now what happens, there's a couple things that when I used to just do this without and to make the Y look, here's a Y. I used to just do the V, but then people would go one, two, three, scrub. And then they would go, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. And they don't realize that they need to come straight here. So they get carried away. So then this is what you end up seeing. Okay, so it's a lopsided. And if we make it the stem and we follow the stem, then that works. Now, the next thing I want to show you, these are little tips, okay? The next thing I want to show you is that people, when they're trying to do this the first time, this is what they do. They're going, I'm scrubbing. Oops, I forgot. I got to turn and go to the tip. So they're scrubbing and they're like, oh, 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 I'm going to turn. So they do this at the bottom, which this is wrong, okay? And this is how I'm going to share with you. If I, if you want, I want you to look at this. I want you to think the dark green on this one, you could have light green on the outside, but the dark green on here is going to make my leap if I want to go out and in, out and in. But what I'm going to do is I'm always going to be looking at that outside of the leaf. So when you come around here and then you go, oops, and you turn it in, then that's not the stroke that you want. That's not what we're looking for. Okay, so we don't want to do that. I like to put X's so you know I don't mean that. All right, so let me tell you a little trick. I've, I've shared a couple of them with you so far. So we have a Y, we have a railroad crossing. All right, and we have our practice. One, two, three, scrub, up and down, scrub, because what's going to happen is as you do this, your eyes are going to watch where you're going to shape your leaf, okay? So the next tip I have, this really helps people that are struggling, that keep flipping their brush wrong, they keep doing what? They keep doing this. They keep saying, oops, let's get refocused. All right. Okay. They keep doing this angle here where they flip this back in. This is wrong and this is wrong, right? So let me show you a simple way to get your mind to see it, okay? Now I am going to... Get some more. I'm going to get some white this time with a little bit of medium. So your double loader controls where you, so hopefully you don't get a lot of green in your white because that's not what we're supposed to do. Then I get some medium. All right. Now this is what's going to happen. All right. I'm going to start here. Go one, two, three. And then I'm going to pivot. Here's my magnet, right? I'm going to pivot, it's going to stay at the magnet, and it's going to come around and stand up. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and, and when I feel comfortable the last time, I wiggle. Now what does this leaf look when you get it all done? When I'm going like this and I go one, two, and the last one I can wiggle, 
this looks like a heart. Do you see that? And so when you're doing that, you're able to keep the right color the whole time. Okay? Okay. There we go. Now look at this. On this side, this is what people continue to do. Now look at my dark green. All right, I'm going to put my little finger down. Look at my dark green. This is what people do when they go, oops, I get a turn. Okay, so let me tell you. This is the side that I kept at the magnet. This one went down the, stem, the post, right down the stem. All right, so this is what I want you to see. When this is right, it looks like that. So I pivoted from the magnet. Now this other side where I just carried it on and on and on, and many of you do this, this is what happens. See the lines? The lines come where I wiggle or straight. And oops, I gotta go down. So there's where we see. And when we do it right, we're up here remember high enough up there okay so then we pivot all the way on each wiggle okay so I want you to see that's going to help you if you understand why we put the magnet there why we're pivoting from there it's going to make a big difference and what your leaves at all look like okay so that first leaf again let me go back here pick up paint Just dip into the corner of what you need if you don't need to come here and get both colors. Okay, and I put a little bit of white. I'm gonna put some medium. I don't have enough sap. There we go. Okay, let's watch one more time. All right, I started over here. One, two, three, my magnets in the middle. Okay, and then I stand up. All right, so now the green's this way, so if I just move over. One, two, three. And I wiggle over here and pivot the yellow green in the middle. And then I stand up. Then you want those to meet, though. <laughs> I can come here and make them meet. All right, then I'm going to pull in the stem and... It's got it already shaded like you tried to get that shading there. The beautiful thing about one stroke painting though, guys, is I can come right back on top of here. Right, right back here. And restroke. And then pull the stem back in here and not wipe off. You're just restroking. Okay? So now, I need to see some lessons and uh, some practice sheets. So I want you to take on any kind of paper, on newspaper, whatever. Um, you're going to wiggle up and down and up and down. And then if you turn it to the side, you could have a caterpillar. Oh, I'm not even on there. There you go. You could have a caterpillar along here. Okay, now this is the key. This is what I want you to see. When I'm pulling this and I'm wiggling, I want this chisel to match with this ferrule. We're not twisting. See? We're not twisting either way. What we're doing is we're pulling. As I'm pulling, wiggling wherever my brush pulls me is where I'm going okay so that's today's lesson I'm excited for you to see what comes up next I'm excited to watch on Donna Dewberry's official one stroke group please come and share your paintings and your worksheets let me know how you're doing all right and if you need any of the products it's one stroke O-N-E 
stroke.com. And that's the Donna DeBruce official website to get your supplies. Thank you so much. And I will see you next week.